All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is part two of installing Arch Linux Midfinger Edition, uh, November 2015. Uh, I gave this a day or so uh, just to run it through its paces, and everything seems to be uh, working as it as it should be in uh, regular Arch Linux installs. However, there's one uh, thing I noticed is when you reboot for the first time, you might get a black screen, uh, which it should. If you're familiar with uh, Arch, you probably know how to do this. You, you just add no mode set when, you, um, when you're booting. So if you boot from Grub, press E on Arch Linux and talk on this no mode set at the end of the Linux line where it says quiet, just put no mode set, a space no mode set. Or if you want, it, with the mounted image, you can remount the image in a CH root and add uh, no mode set to the Grub Etsy line. I mean, rep line. So, uh, just to give you a leap pad default uh, grub, you would add in here, you would add no mode, like no mode set, like so. Of course, I'm not going to save that because I've already been through that. All right, and you sh it should boot up and then go through the documentation. And if you're using NVIDIA, um, it'll ask if you want to remove Mesa LibGL, answer yes, and then you just copy and paste this to get NVIDIA and NVIDIA LibGL, for example, and then run through NVIDIA xconfig reboots, and you can take out the uh, no mode set line after or during or whatever way you've, uh, you're going to go about that. Um, so sorry, um, it's unpredictable sometimes. Okay, so on to uh, some of the features. I included Docbar X XFCE4 plugin. It's uh, down at the bottom. It's more like a Windows 7-ish kind of thing. The previews would probably work if I had Compiz installed and enabled, for example. But I like this because it, uh, it, like, if you click on the, hover over and click the window, it'll minimize it, and you can also, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can also close from here and in addition say you have uh, whatever you have in here you can go to properties you can edit the launcher identify the launcher and it like new incognito window some of the functions will work for like that so for example um, I included uh, the typhoon weather app and you could uh, pin that or the desktop search which it's called uh, tracker-needle in the command line. So that's, it's under accessories, desktop search comes up. And you just uh, right click and say, click pin application. Close and you can, uh, I think you can drag and move these around. There we go. So you have a launcher for um, desktop search, which works for surprisingly well like if uh, NVIDIA like there's an NVIDIA libs you type that in it finds it and it's actually on another hard drive and it brings up uh, some other stuff that I use personally uh, when it, after installing in the NVIDIA drivers I, I get extra uh, libraries for it mostly for gaming Oop. so I thought that was uh, I like that actually this uh, feature it makes it look to uh, start your taskbar look a little more uh, fancier I guess so if you bring up the typhoon weather uh, you can I'll just give an example type in new uh, York and click apply and there you go you see the weather and you can change the, the theme uh, you know the color scheme you see it, a preview and it specifies uh, uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. So probably uh, Cal uh, Fahrenheit. And you click the check sign, and it refreshes. And something funny is going on with my internet. There you go. And again, you can just say uh, pin application and move it somewhere else, like so. And Pulse Audio, I decided to include Pulse Audio. It seems to have uh, matured quite a bit 
you know, over the last year or so. Uh, so what I did was uh, downloaded Vault, uh, included Vol Wheel. That's how, on in Pac-Man from the Pac-Man repository, and go to Preferences, and it actually goes to GNOME Control Center, which is installed in this uh, OS uh, desktop. Uh, GNOME Control Center Sound. That's just the command, and you just make sure that it's, it's already set up, so I set it to master. The mini mixer is the ma master and the capture. So when you just uh, left click, single click, mixer, it'll bring up uh, the GNOME mixer where you have a speaker test. You uh, front left and front right. For example, we have stereo. And also uh, made a note, uh, it should have installed the PAVU control. Uh, simply because you might want to turn off some devices such as uh, configuration. I don't use the, uh, I think this is the GeForce high definition audio. I just turn it off basically. It's not that important that it's not installed, but uh, just a suggestion there. Uh, X screensaver, I included that, and it does come with uh, the command to lock your screen, which is in your start whisker menu and this will lock your screen uh, and you can choose uh, anything you want it's in the screen savers in the menu here in your settings and I have it just set to 1 120 minutes to blank or just never blank or whatever uh, that's up to you I just thought if you wanted to lock the screen uh, you could add a keyboard shortcut with this here that's the command and control alt L usually with lock screen Again, that's a preference for you, up to you. Um, I included Zame, which is not in any of the default repositories, but you can still get it through the uh, archive. Um, and that's just a whisker menu editor, so you can edit applications and whatever you want to have showing up. You can also change the icon of it of a certain program and so on. It's a it's a really cool utility, I think. And uh, Pamac AUR uh, is back, and you've, if you're familiar with this, you know that it'll handle updates, which just remind me there is an update. Uh, app management, you can add, remove software, and AUR uh, support, you have to turn that on within the application. So for example, in the Pamac tray, I just, it was just a small update, you just go to Update Manager, and it synchronizes. Uh, Again, my internet's slow for some reason. Go to Preferences. You'll be prompted for your uh, user password. Um, <clears throat> unless you want to edit the... I think you can edit the poll kit. In any case, uh, I usually set it to remove unrequired dependencies. And the AUR, you have to turn this on. It's usually set by off by default, and these are not checked in here where it's grayed out. So you set it to on. And it will search in the AUR and also check for updates. And uh, I, I don't check this. Don't ask for confirmation because you want to. Obviously, uh, you might need to edit. So that's basically uh, the uh, the update and add remove. If you'd like to use the GUI, so you just type add remove software and type in or just browse through. Press Spacebar, highlight, and check, and download or not, or whatever. You want to remove stuff, we can do, you know, whatever is highlighted. As you can see here, uh, you can remove it if you need to for some reason. Since I downloaded the GNOME Control Center and all that stuff, uh, it had, uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, uh, unintended, uh, actually, advantages, uh, which might make for a more complete desktop uh, such as the online account so it's under internet online account and empathy uh, integration so if you click online accounts you can see here I've added my Google and I open my the Sunar file manager you can see here there's a, a virtual file system which is actually your uh, Google Drive so there's one way, and uh, depending on your connection, as you can see, it's loading the contents of the folder. 
Um, there we go. Now, depending on where some of this stuff is, um, if it's a Google Doc, it'll open uh, Google Chrome um, in uh, your Google Docs account. Or if it's not in the Google Docs, it, it'll be just a text document. So like repo CK, it'll just open in uh, whatever text that you set as your default. And again, it's very internet connection uh, oriented. I've also included uh, GNOME uh, Docs. I guess that's installed as well under Office. GNOME Documents, and you can see here that they come up. So where's the Arch Linux? Uh, I'm not sure it's in this one. Arch Linux uh, uh, cheat, install cheat, sort of, not really, it's, you know, just what I use, the uh, Wi-Fi menu, and, you know, it's just to give you a document you can look through and share. Uh, I, I believe you have to go to uh, your Google online account to share, share a, a document. However, it's uh, kind of handy just to take a glance at the documents you may have on uh, Google Docs and so on. I also wanted to address uh, the aliases that I use. Uh, they are included in the Bash RC. If you don't want them, just create your own. Uh, but there's ones I use for sudo pacman dash capital S. It's just pack to install a program or pack U to uninstall or pack, um, pack U to update, pack R to uh, uninstall, uh, pack S to search, and uh, P sync to sync the mirror lists. Um, ones I use are uh, pack, one that I use is pack row. It doesn't return anything, but it's a great uh, command uh, for cleaning up dependency or orphans that are no longer needed, uh, such as, you know, you might have CMake in your menu all of a sudden, you're, and you're going, why is that there? Usually pack row, unless you explicitly installed it, will remove that package for you because you don't you're not going to use it but that's uh i i find it uh, very handy um lcp is locale purge and the first time it'll tell you to edit the lcp uh, locale purge uh configuration file and that's in the uh, documentation as well And if you just if you want to look at it, you can just type in LED um, leafpad edit uh, bash RC. There's the colors. If you don't want to use them, you don't like the colors, just put a hash sign in front of it. Save and then close and then type in BSU uh, to update and then quit and then reopen your terminal. You don't have color prompt. And if you want to go back, just type in LED and put the colors back in or change them take out that uh, comment and then BSU and then your colors are back uh, other ones are uh, YD that's the uh, YouTube downloader that's included speed is uh, speed line uh, command line test so here are the custom aliases uh, we've been through most of these it's just whatever uh, pack O uh, will optimize your Pac-Man Mirror list, the profile sync daemon, uh, that's included. Uh, if you install Firefox, it'd be PCF. Uh, just to clean up the uh, databases, PCC for Chromium, PCG for Google Chrome, and there's YouTube downloader, and uh, locale purge command speeds. I put a uh, Q to quit, just in case you're opening uh, a new tab in the terminal, and uh, just a quick way to type, just to exit. Or press Control D to close the terminal. Uh, MD is to update the uh, M locate database. And configuration, uh, just a, an alias uh, to edit your Pac Man configuration file. And YRT, if uh, you want to install Yaoart uh, uh, user repository um, package. All right, so I've covered as much as I can remember uh, on the. Pa the changes or additions to this and uh if you run into any problems please let me know in the video comments 
Okay, so if you try this, thank you so much. And uh, and to everybody else, thank you for watching. And that should do it for this one. So we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.